Hey guys, welcome to a reaction slash review of My Little Pony in New Generation. Oh god. I'm not so psyched about this one. Genuinely, going into this, I think this is gonna be bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping this is more of like a so bad it's good kind of thing, but I really do expect this to be not very good. Based on what I've seen from the trailer, the plot seemed very cliche, and it's, it, it seemed very predictable. It seemed like one of those stories where it's like, oh, what? I don't really know how to describe it, I'd say. It's probably one of those stories of like, oh, this one person is like different. Uh, don't exclude them. You know, basically like, oh, that kind of story. Like, except the differences is like all that. Basically, it, it's that kind of story. And I've seen that done a lot in animated children's films. And to be honest, this might be one of those films where it's like, eh, it's fine for children, but like, it's not good for me. <laughs> it's not for me, which I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, with that being said, let's just get right into it. Oh, so they actually reference like the original six or whatever. To be fair, this bit is not poorly animated. I kind of like it. Okay, so there's like a miss. Yeah, obviously, as I said before, well, not really, but like there is a misunderstanding here, obviously, and that just leads into the whole thing of like not accepting somebody for differences and all that. Yeah, so I'm guessing that majority of this is just gonna be. CGI and and that's fine. It, it looks solid. I'll say it, it actually looks pretty good But I will say that the beginning intro part is probably gonna be the most the best well animated part You are brainwashing their minds with all of your uh, Nonsense, it's called research Phyllis and by the way, I leave all the brainwashing in Maritime Bay to you Oh, there's a yeah as I kind of expected I had a feeling there is somewhat of a political message in this film and I'm guessing that is the case based on this scene. That pony is trouble. Don't worry, Mommy. When I become sheriff, I'll keep every pony in line. You're gonna be a dictator. <laughs> Funny. That was not paced that well. That kind of felt like it came to a halt there. Uh, whoever, yeah, that was not very well edited. I apologize if I'm being too harsh already on this film, but going into it, I just don't think this is gonna be that great. I mean, it's a children's film. I, I really probably shouldn't be that harsh on it, to be fair. I, I'm, I just think it makes for better content. Together, they showed every pony the magic of friendship and how to live in harmony. Yo, he said it. He said the thing. He said the... He said the thing. Oh, is this a time skip? Yeah, I think that's implying that, like, he's kind of gone. So, yeah, I think this is a time skip. Good morning, son. No time to chat. I gotta run. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is a musical. Is this a musical? I mean, it's not bad. It's actually pretty solid. It started out pretty good, and then it kind of went downhill, personally. Wait, so my best guess is that because this is a time skip, the guy, as I'm gonna call it, uh, is uh, the sheriff. Good morning, Sheriff Hitch. Morning, Mayflower. Dahlia. So I guess I was wrong. He's actually the sheriff. All right. Oh, hey, Sprout. You okay? You seem kind of wheezy. That deputy sprout to you oh so he's the deputy oh suck it <laughs> yeah <laughs> suck it we here at canter logic are so thrilled to create perfect products that protect ponies like you from ponies like that oh wait so is this the antagonist you have the antagonist be someone who's in like the tech industry and is a part of a business Yeah, so then this is gonna be a whole debacle. Aren't you tired of being scared all the time? This scene kind of feels a little bit of left field, but I mean, I, I mean, I guess it built up to it a little bit. They used to be our friends and can be again. Hey, we don't need any of that around here. 
Yeah, so of course, you know, she doesn't get to own any of them, so yeah. There's that, and then she's gonna have to, like, prove all of them wrong and that, all that. I'm the last real friend you got in this town. You really wanna lose me too? Yeah, of course she's lonely. And introducing the second act with the th thing that is different than them. Is every pony playing hide and seek? Yeah, so all of them like run away and she's just oblivious. Oh, what the heck? Oh, interesting self-aware joke. By the way, I know this is probably not a good question to ask right now. How do they grab things if they don't have a posable thumbs? Oh, I've never seen an Earth pony before. We look exactly the same. Except for this, of course. That's an allegory for something. <laughs> I feel that. I, genuinely, this movie does seem like it's more of an allegory for something. You don't have any magic? Nope. <sighs> no magic? Well, that's disappointing. What are you doing? You don't smell. Thanks. Wait, what? I was told all you earth ponies smell like rotten sardines, but you... do not. Okay, so that's just showing that they were also lied to. And it was like a misconception to them too. Ponies were wrong about unicorns. They could welcome us with open wings. But what if they don't? Up ahead is a sky growing dark. <gasps> this is a musical. <laughs> no. Okay, I should have expected that. I should have expected that. I I actually that's the one thing I did not know was that. And I genuinely think that's funny. That it is a musical. I did not know that at all. I kind of like that, because then it's like, it's a surprise for me, and I genuinely get like a shocked reaction out of it. I mean, it's funny when I genuinely get shocked over it being a musical. This is a lot like the first song, where it's like, it's like, I feel like the buildup is very good, but then when it actually gets to like, the main chorus, it's just not as good as what it was building up to. So my best guess is that, the main reason why there's no magic or whatever is because friendship, because you know, the whole thing about this series, yeah. Oh, every pony loves Hitch. What does he have anyway? Yeah, so this guy's envious because he's not the actual sheriff. It means that you are the sheriff. Yeah, he didn't realize that. Kind of shows that he's kind of ignorant. Don't worry, Sheriff Sprout is here. Pick up that litter. Sheriff Sprout's order. Wow, such a great scene. Oh my god, really needed that in the film. Hunter, <laughs> get it together. But, but that's an earth pony. They're harmless. They have very tiny brains. Okay, yeah, so they also have misconceptions. An exclusive vid from Pip for all you loyal fans out there in ZH. What is up, every pony? Oh. oh, of course, of course, they have a social media reference in this movie. <laughs> Hey, it's Toby Fox. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. That's so disappointing. I would have loved for that just to be it. Because that'd just be funny as hell. That'd actually be funny. But of course not. This film can't be funny. It's interesting how they have a monarchy in like a... Like society that's like very closely related to like modern United States. Now is not the time to be complacent. We should do something. Something is lurking. Something is near. Wait, oh, that's an interesting transition into a song? Uh, this one is not <laughs> very good. This song is not very good, to be honest. It is... Oh, it's also kind of sad because they're taking liberties in the song, like animation liberties, and I can tell. Listen, I might have some information that could help. Well, yeah, of course you do. You know, we got to move this movie along so that way, you know, nothing comes to a halt. <laughs> I can be pretty sneaky when I want to be. Nice. I'm, I'm only medium sneaky. <laughs> Close. That's like... That's like close to the same energy as Little Stitious. You coming or what? 
No. Okay, so yeah, this guy is gonna be in the movie like as a fetch quest type thing. He is like a side story, basically. We've been faking it. Faking it? But but how? You'd be surprised what some wires and good lighting will do. But I'm just so tired of living that ridiculous lie. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's this message. So yeah, it's that whole message of like, oh, I want to be who I truly am and not some like, f you know, what everybody sees me at, like that type thing. Which, I mean, is, you know, a fine lesson. Just kind of cliche and unoriginal when you, in a movie. You lost your magic because the crystals were separated. Oh, okay, so that's why? Well, I guess I was wrong about the whole friendship thing, sadly. Uh, damn. I thought it was really smart. Pip's performing at tonight's royal celebration. All eyes will be on her. Oh, there's gonna be a song. There's gonna be a song during that. Well, let's see what plays. <laughs> Definitely haven't seen this type of thing where a film does like they have a plan and then they execute it while also explaining the plan to the audience. Yeah, I've seen stuff like this. It's in a lot of films actually. <laughs> oh, and yeah, that's where there's where there's the strings. <laughs> I was right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, I, I kind of saw that coming. But to be fair, that one's a good transition and it's expected, so I'll give him that. She's a fake. So now just a ton of stuff just got revealed to, like, all of the characters in the film. We had to get the crystal. Look. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not here. Seriously? On the bright side. We had so much fun losing it. <laughs> okay, that's actually funny. Actually a fun, funny line. This is not happening. This is so not happening. Hey, forget about all that. We think we can bring back magic, but we need that crystal. So wait, are we just going to forget about all of this and then like move on through the plot? Or are there going to be more characters trying to like run after them? There's so many like antagonists in this like one film when you think about it. It's just kind of all over the place, to be honest. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they can do that. It's just, it's just why. We'll see how fast I'm climbing the ranks. This defense factory is going on offense. Never mind. So I guess I was wrong. So, like, she's not the antagonist, he's the antagonist, because really he's turning the defense into offense, so, yeah. I, I actually didn't expect that, which, I don't know why I didn't, I feel like that's kind of obvious. I'm a criminal, and it's all because of them. Him. And that is so not cool. No, it is not. Did I just agree with the Pegasus? Okay, so I guess that scene was supposed to be like, oh, like he also then realized that, oh, then, you know, there's not big a difference between the two, you know? Like, we can agree easily. Oh, you know, I think I did see a shiny badgy thing on the ground a few hours ago. What? Hours? Well, maybe it's for the best. Between you and me, buddy, that badge was creating an unhealthy power dynamic. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's... Are they even trying to be subtle with these, like, whole, this whole thing they're going for? This whole message? Because it's not really subtle. That line just kind of told the audience that. Ta -da! All right. Ah, oh, great. Come on, every pony. How did, how, 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 how? <laughs> just no, no explanation. Just how. When I was a filly, I found this pretty lantern. It had a message inside. It, it said I had friends in Mere Time Bay. It, it was you. I made it with my dad. That was at the beginning of the film. Oh, that, I tuned out that scene. I did not actually pay attention at that scene. I was literally confused. <laughs> okay, okay. Actually, I think I do recall a scene of them shooting something into the sky. Okay, so this is a song? I did not expect it. Okay, this song actually isn't that bad, to be honest. I actually kind of like it. It's definitely one of the better ones, mainly just because it kind of fits with the dynamic of the scenery. This is how a unicorn struts. Oh, watch a shaker, unicorn butts. <sighs> okay, I say that, and then, and then they do all this. <laughs> I say that, and then they do all that. 
No, I take back. I take back everything I said about this song. It is. It's so bad. <laughs> no, why did they do this? I was so fine with this song, and then they just do all this, and it's just like, oh god. That's how a unicorn ends this song. Uh, Self-aware joke. I get it. Yeah, that was something. <laughs> Jesus. Honestly, I will say that probably is my favorite moment of this film just because of how bad it is. <laughs> how can we tell which ones are magic? Ooh, you said a bad word. Huh? Hurry, before we get jinxed. Oh. Oh. Bing, bing bong, bing bong. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was an interesting scene. No, 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 no. A special prize? Calls for a special competition. Bring forth the ultimate challenge! Oh, yeah. So now there's more. Oh! <laughs> oh, there's more, and this is... This is more. Let's make this more interesting. You only need to win one out of three. Oh, of course, of course. So that, you know, that gives her an, you know, easier chance of winning. Yeah, the suspense was killing me there. Definitely didn't think she would win. Give me the crystal. But I won. You tricked me. Uh, uh, magic wing feather mayonnaise! Bing! Wow, that actually came back. You escaped. How did you find us? Ah! Ah, my bad, yes! That actually came back. Ready, Izzy? Ready. Guessing it's not going to work? Well, they need the third piece. Yeah, it's not gonna work. They need the third piece. It's just not gonna work. It, like, it fits, but it's not gonna work. I'm a little bit confused at this. Because it's like, this this scene right here is like doing two things at the same time. And also doing- it did another thing and just forgot about it immediately. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Boom, there it is. The missing piece. Yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm guessing she's gonna figure it out later, or something like that. Yep, she's gonna figure it out, like, right in this scene. I- I don't know how to describe just all the things that happened there, with just how lucky she just got. Oh, here we go. So this is the build-up to the main antagonist. To Sprouticus Maximus. So wait, there was foreshadowing at the beginning of the film. Oh, they're gonna put all the pieces together because they have the pieces. Yeah, so this is the climactic battle where like they're fighting against the, the big robot thing and then they also like bring back the magic and all that. We need the unicorn crystal! I'm looking, I'm looking! To be honest, there's really just no suspense at all. Like for me, because I already just know what's going to happen. It, it didn't work. Okay, I was not expecting that, actually. That That's kind of interesting. Wait, was I right about the whole friendship thing? Is it, does it have to be like they all have to be alliance or whatever uh, for it to work and they're not? It's not the crystals that need to be brought together. It's us. <laughs> so I was right about the whole magic of friendship thing, yeah. That's actually interesting. How it's like, they put the picture together and not the crystal. That actually is kind of cool, I will say. Why, why does that seem familiar? <laughs> oh my god, this actually is familiar. Yeah, wait, hold on. It, wasn't this actually in the show? Wasn't this like a thing in the actual show? Okay, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely better than what I expected, to be fair. I mean, I don't think this is great. It's not the best thing I've seen. I mean, it to be honest, it had a lot of the things what I expected. There were some things that surprised me uh, in, a <laughs> in a funny way, I will say. But there were some things I thought that were cringeworthy. 
uh, and there were some things that I do kind of like. I think the plot is not very great. It's very predictable, I will say. What I didn't predict was just some things coming back in the plot. And yeah, that's fair. I think the problem with this film is that it tries to do things... It, it tries to do a lot of things at the same time without really balancing them, I feel. And then... And I mean, to be fair, they all kind of come back in the end, but it does kind of make it hard to like actually watch at times because it's like, what is going on? It's like, there's so much that's happening. And then it just, and then especially when they also bring something up, because there are definitely things in the film that I feel like they should like develop more into like bigger plot points because it affects more of more characters, but they actually don't. They just kind of forget about it. Because they do actually remember a ton of stuff that would really only affect like a small number of characters. But then it's like, there are these other things that happen that would, I feel like, affect more characters. And they kind of just drop it. For example, like the whole thing of like, the the queen being a phony and, and all that thing. And like, oh, they're being prosecuted and like, that sort of thing. Where like, that came up, like, and then it just immediately just got dropped in like a second. Uh, which I don't understand. Yeah, and I will say that's probably the biggest flaw about this plot. It, there's a lot of stuff happening, and sometimes it just, like, drops things out of nowhere, and it just doesn't really make sense. But honestly, there are, there are a lot of good things. I, I actually do like the animation. It's actually not bad. It's very well done, actually. There are some bits where I felt like they did take some liberties, but it's still, it's still not bad. It actually doesn't look terrible. Like, the lighting is good. It, it looks solid, to be honest. I will say my favorite part is definitely the intro scene when it comes to the animation, because it is pretty good. And it also, like, references the original show. Uh, I think it is a good way to introduce the film as well. I'd say for the songs, uh, which I didn't expect this to be a musical at all, which I think is funny. Uh, I'd say they were, eh, they were okay. It was like, yeah, there was like, a majority of them were just very mediocre, and a lot of the time, well, yeah, a lot of them were mediocre. Uh, there was one that I felt where the song didn't match the scenery at all, and it was the one where it was the the princess, like, singing or whatever, like, debut song or something. It didn't go with the scenery at all, and, and I get why. And then there's, like, that one song where the the sheriff is becoming the dictator, <laughs> which is downright terrible. It's bad. It's honestly a bad song. I did not like it at all. Uh, and then you have, personally, which I think is the worst, or the best worst song in this film, and it's the one where you have the freaking uh, rap. <laughs> you have the freaking rap solo or whatever in the, in the in like, halfway through, which I just thought was, like, out of left field, but so funny. <laughs> it was bad, but it was so funny. Genuinely, uh, yeah, I'd say that I did enjoy this film a little bit. I enjoy this film a lot more. I thought this film was gonna be more of like, it's very generic and bland, like a generic kids film that isn't very good. And there are moments where I do feel that, where I'm like, eh, this is just kinda, you know, it's like that kinda thing where I'm like, eh, I don't really care what's going on. Like, this is something you'd see in a, you know, that's strictly, uh, you know, geared towards kids, which is fine, you know, it's fine, uh, makes sense, and to be honest, but there were, there were definitely uh, scenes that I did think were funny, bad, <laughs> I will say there were some scenes that I did like, uh, not many, but there were definitely some scenes that I did like, but I feel like a most part my favorite scenes were scenes that I thought were hilariously bad. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, if I had to rank this film, I'd probably give it, like, a... Maybe a five or a six. Uh, it's actually not bad. I, would, I wouldn't say it was mediocre. I, I genuinely probably would say it's six, because there are some things that I do enjoy. It's not, it's not, like, completely bland and, like, you know, it's unoriginal. And there are definitely some problems I have with this film, like... I think a lot, and, but there are definitely some things I like, and there are some things that I definitely uh, think are hilariously bad. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!